Yo, it is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter Anthony Davis. I'm really excited to try out this AD card. He looks like he's going to be one of the best power forwards in the game. My question is, how does he compare to Chris Porzingis, David Robinson, Kevin Garnett, uh, those top power forwards in my team? On what level is he on? Is he as good as those guys? Is he better than them? Or is he not quite as good as those guys? But before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 10,000 subscribers mark on the channel I upload every single day and i would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it let's see what ad is looking like so anthony davis you're looking at a six foot ten power forward with 99 offense and defense with a 95 driving layup 93 post game 93 midi 91 three ball 95 standing and driving dunk 86 ball handle 94 block 97 interior 89 steel 92 perimeter 86 sorry 96 offensive and 97 defensive rebounding 91 speed and excel and a 90 lateral quickness so statistically obviously he looks incredible badges 30 hoffs area Wizard, back now Punisher, Bully, Fast Twitch, Fearless Finisher, Limitless, Takeoff, Masher, Post Spin, Post Riser, Catch and Shoot, Claymore, Clutch, Shooter, Corner, Specialist, Break, Starter, Clamp, Breaker, Post Playmaker, Quick First Step, Anchor, Chase Down Artist, Clamps, Glove, Interceptor, Menace, Pick Dodger, Post Lockdown, Pogo Stick, Workhorse, Box Up, East Rebound, Chaser, and Brick Wall. So, awesomely... Obviously, he has awesome hoffs. Also, 26 gold badges include badges like Drop Stepper, Rise Up, Agent 3, Blinders, Dead Eye, Guard Up, Limitless Range, Ankle Breaker, Bailout, Unblockable Vice Grip, Ankle Braces, Challenger, and Off Ball Pest. Every badge is upgradable. You can add any badge you like, so Slippery Off Ball, Handles for Days. Um, really, you can basically add every badge he doesn't have. It's up to you which ones you actually want to add, but with eight badge slots, you can add as many badge, badges as you would like to the card of the badges that he doesn't have. Now, the question with Anthony Davis, how are his animations compared to D-Rob, compared to KP? Because he is smaller than both of them. And that is certainly something that is worth still keeping in mind. He has Kobe Escape, which is good. Definitely will work. He definitely can work with that. Uh, movement seems pretty good. He's got his own release on quick, which is definitely significantly better than his release on normal. But I will say, I'm not sure it's still, I'm not sure it's quite on the level of either KP or D-Rob's releases. I mean, it's probably on a very similar level to D-Rob's release, I'll say. I would maybe take D-Rob's release just slightly, but it's close. Uh, he does have good dunk animations. I know he has quick drops as one of his dunk slots, so he'll trigger those. Some attack and learn, which will be nice, and there we go. Uh, got good dunk animations for sure. I mean, the release on quick is much better than it is on than, than how good it is on normal. I will say that, no doubt. Uh, behind the back is the Lily behind the back as well, which is obviously elite. Um, so his sigs are good. I mean, his animations look good. His release is definitely much, much improved on quick than it was on normal. And then defensively, he's going to be exceptional. Obviously, he's got great range even as a base card being able to green shots from there where i just shot from i mean he's going to be a nasty nasty card there's no doubt about that i gotta say i do think i prefer d rob's release just a tiny bit though as well as kp's like it's close but i think i would take those guys releases just barely over ad's but i definitely will say you're looking at a top tier elite power forward definitely can compete against any power forward in the game but is he as good as d rob or kp i'm not 100 percent sure without further ado let's hop into a game and let's see what anthony davis can do all right, our opponents got Donna Mitchell, RJ Barrett, Series 2 Tatum, Bam, and Jaron Jackson Jr. Not a great team. We're not playing against a lot of good squads today in our gameplays, but um, let's see what we can get into with AD in this game. Uh, matched up against Jaron Jackson Jr., who is still a very good defensive card. He's just not great offensively, but at least gives us a decent matchup on the defensive end of the course. See if we can get AD to come set me a screen, please. All right, maybe not. Um, there we go. Thank you for setting a screen, AD. Hit the pop. Blow right by. Late in the shot clock. Get to the rim. Lay it in. Okay, not the greatest start in terms of uh, running offense and getting a good shot. It took me a while to get into the offense, but we got lucky. Got ourselves a foul, and AD is going to go to the free throw line. He's got a smooth, easy to green free throw release. I've shot a lot of free throws with AD this year as well because I used his trophy case Opal for a long time, and he, that card was an absolute beast. So super easy to free throw to green, and he knocks down both of those to start off the game. Get a hand up here with uh, Isaac, please. Stay with him. Okay, he actually got a pretty good amount of space there, but he's going to miss the jumper, and AD is going to get the board pushing it out in transition he's definitely pretty quick at power forward as well walk back and go right by jaron jackson jr good bailout pass to the corner for john isaac to get a catch and shoot three kind of dropped the ball but we still got the catch and the three and that is a very very good start to the game ad both running offense um scoring for himself but then running offense for his teammate doing his thing so far on both ends of the court good defense here as well i don't know how much offense that's yeah i don't know i didn't think that was going to go in and it didn't this dude's offense is definitely struggling a little bit so far kind of feels 
feel bad for him because we definitely have the better team right now. But AD, walk back, go right by Jaron again. Oh, he's tired. He's blinking. He's gassed. I didn't mean to go up with that. I'm not going to lie. We'll take it, though. Pass out to AD. I know you're tired, but we can still green that, right, AD? Ah, I got a little bit of a slowed down release, just barely. It's kind of tough, um, but he was tired, so can't complain too much. Lamelo almost just played that somehow. It, like, threw it off of Lamelo's face, but... Not the prettiest start, I guess, to the game. Only two points, a rebound, and assist. So he's doing a decent job statistically so far, but nothing too insane. But uh, defensively, we're definitely hooping right now. We're getting ourselves multiple stops. He got a... That might be green. Hey, good shot. 8% or 6%, whatever that is. Green for RJ Barrett. Keeps him in the game. So give credit where it is due. Good size up here, Lamelo. Attack through. Hit the pop. Catch. Attack. Now we're going to drag back if we can. Nope. Okay, there we go. Go downhill. AD. You should be able to mash that. Okay, another foul. I guess we'll take more free throws would have liked an and one there but not able to finish through the contact that is all right i almost missed the free throw i held it down too long but it does go down regardless and we're going to green the second one right there there we go four points with ad all at the free throw line would like to get him a little bit more involved in the offense outside of just free throws but that is certainly okay uh play the top here let's play this with ad as well over rotate a little bit get back to the okay defensive settings are definitely not he just paid a white bro they're helping off the corner for a wide open three. But if he's wide open, he's still got to green it, especially in a in a greener miss game, which is what they claim this is. But apparently not. Normal fade for me, AD. For three. Yes, sir, AD. And I can't shoot. I'm playing so bad right now. All right. Definitely not my best performance to this point in the game. I mean, I'm missing multiple open shots and things like that. Just not playing well at all. Drag back here with AD. Let's shoot over the top. He didn't step up and contest. There we go, AD. Knocking down the three. He did a poor job of stepping up there, and AD's release is now quick enough with it on quick timing to be able to get that shot off and knock it down from three. Play some defense here. Good D, Lamelo, And AD just comes over and hacks him. That's tough. Would have liked to see that play straight up, but that's just a CPU animation. Nothing you can really do about that. Um, that Celtic screen animation uh, those green animations kind of throw me off i'll be completely honest he misses the second free throw though let's throw it up in transition t mac run the offense for me for a second yes sir now see if we can create another shot for ad another catch and shoot and ad's gonna green that one as well right no he's not because i am so bad i have missed so many easy shots this game like that's the third wide open shot that i've missed i am playing very very bad ad should easily have i mean 15 points plus at this point and i am just struggling to shoot the ball but secure the rebound here we go good and we're just gonna throw it up to right up to ad as well again we're going to five out with him, go behind the back, see if we can just attack RJ off the dribble, get inside, and that's an easy standing duck. So despite my poor performance, AD has nine points, a rebound, and an assist, and we at least do have a lead. So it certainly could be worse, as well as the fact that he just activated takeover. So that is going to be nice. Hopefully with takeover, I'm going to struggle even more to green to miss open shots. We should hopefully, maybe the game will bail me out a little bit with me having takeover, because apparently I can't shoot. But uh, this is good defense. I mean, he's got nothing going here. Um, just cut him off, Lamelo. good defense defense now straight up straight up recover back out ad good contest without fouling beautiful stuff and we'll throw the leak out to ad sizing up we're gonna just pull this he's not stepping up we gotta green that there we go ad 12 points he's playing really good i mean he could easily have 20 plus right now with the amount of open shots that i've missed and yet he still has 12 which is really really nice to see throw it up to him again we're just gonna stop from deep if i can i mean if he's not gonna make him guard me he doesn't quite guard me as well as he needed to anthony davis oh my gosh i'm surprised that was an open not a light the release is definitely improved man i can tell you all that on quick it is very noticeable the fact that he's got a much improved release i have no doubt about that and he's got 15 of our 18 as well as the assist on the other bucket controlling the game in every aspect right now i mean he is definitely the best player on the court right now despite how poorly i started off this game we're gonna throw it up to him again and we're just gonna front fade make him guard me anthony davis oh my gosh I couldn't agree to start us off, but now I can't miss. Anthony Davis is absolutely dominating this game with 18 points, just spraying three after three and different types of threes too. Off the dribble, front fading, catch and shoot, everything you'd like to see out of a card, Anthony Davis is doing at an elite level right now, and it is absolutely beautiful to see. I just tried to bait, bait the crap out of him right there. I was trying to get him to throw it to Bam, but get a hand up again. That's another very tough shot. He shot a few of those leaners, but that one's not going to go down, and this game is basically over this point i mean it's basically tucked ad going back to the rim lay me oh my he was tired so he didn't get a dunk animation and uh we needed a dunk animation to score there because bam out of bio just took that but damn that's all i have to say damn but it's all right size up for me ad yes sir drag back he's gassed i don't care um we're gonna try to get him a shot here we're gonna throw it out to ad again he's not gonna guard me why are you not guarding me let's hop back to the main menu and review this anthony davis card 
So Anthony Davis is a beast. I mean, there is no doubt about that at all. He's a top tier card. I think he does make the best lineup in the game right now, but that's because I would have KP at the backup five and I would have D-Rob at the starting four. I think he's the third best power forward in my team right now. Probably slightly better than KG. In all honesty, KG's release is a little bit better and his animations might be a little better as well, but AD is the more complete card in terms of um, badges, which I think gives him the slight edge. This card's really good. With that being said, I don't think I'd pay what he's going for because I expect he's going to be very, very expensive. And instead, I would pivot and get a David Robinson or a Chris Jasper Porzingis or even for the value, somebody like a Dino Raja. That's just my personal opinion. I think Anthony Davis is a great card. No doubt about that. If you're a huge fan of the Lakers, the Pelicans, huge fan of AD, whatever the case may be, feel free to get the card and have some fun with him. But I don't think he's going to be quite worth his price, but he is a top three power forward in the game right now. So hopefully y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace